going to be doing a review and a little demonstration of this Vivor wire stripper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I figured since I was doing a little bit of scrapping today, uh, I might as well go ahead and uh, make a little uh, video for a little bit of a review on the this here Vivor or Vevor, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, uh, wire stripper that I've recently got. So, um, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, anyways, it does... 1.25 to 25 millimeter wire. Um, it comes with, of course, your little instruction manual. Uh, also comes with a pair of gloves. Also, it comes with a, a really nice fancy chrome handle uh, crank, uh, which you can put on there uh, if you want to hand crank this stuff or or you got this little attachment you just screw it into the end uh, it's 10 millimeter so I got my drill set up with the 10 millimeter and then of course you get your tools your little allen wrenches for all of your little bolts uh, your little adjustment bolts and then to get inside there uh, to get the blade changed if you need a blade change uh, this thing has adjustments here this is all you really need for an adjustment also comes with the uh, big plate here you see that's a pretty big hole so you can do some pretty good size wire with this thing um, it also comes with the hardware uh, the bolts nuts washers uh, to mount it to a table or whatever you can see there's holes here there's two holes in the back right there so anyways I got some various size wires and stuff I got some uh, 8 gauge wire here which I'm gonna do first because I already got it set on the uh, bigger hole here um, anyways that holes not quite big enough for um, eight gauge so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and uh get into showing you a little bit about this like i say i'm gonna go ahead and start with this piece of eight gauge here and uh i don't have anything real super long except for you know the solid wire so anyways we're gonna get started with this the drill on there run it through you see how fast that was look at there just split it right open and then you just kind of pop it out of the sheath there boom piece of cake and you throw it in your little wire bucket so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this flipped around for the smaller wire. So I'm going to need my Allen wrenches here real quick. Show you how easy this is. It's pretty easy. Oops. Flip it over. Uh, when you set this thing up, you actually want it to go kind of like this go up a little because you want it to roll in the in the center of the roller to try to keep it straighter so you want to get it set to where it gives you uh, what is it 10 to 20 degrees of a lift to the actual cutter
we're going to try a nice uh, long piece here. This this type of wire is actually uh, more like you would find on a uh, a lamp or something of that effect. Uh, so it's kind of odd shaped. So it's actually a little bit more difficult to do anyways, and it has a pretty soft sheathing. Uh, so um, you have to kind of set it uh, just a little bit tighter than what you would actually normally be setting it at if it was more of a, a stiffer, tougher wire. Now we're going to go ahead and do this 14 gauge uh, solid wire. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, piece of cake. Go ahead and do this other piece here too. So, anyways, um, that's kind of it for the demo. Uh, now, I'm going to get on to telling you what I think about it. Okay, so we're going to start with the packaging. The packaging came in one single box. Um, nice packaging, nice foam, you know, fitted. Um, and so, as far as the packaging goes, it was really good it seemed to be well packaged um, everything was pretty clear as to what it was and where it was and stuff and so after I pulled it out of the package I gave it kind of a look to see you know what was going on with it and how I felt about it uh, but uh, means it was already pretty much assembled except for you know if you wanted your little drill attachment or if you just wanted to put the handle on other than that um, mine I actually had to adjust the blade a little bit because it was kind of off and it was pushing the wire off a little bit but it's no big deal you got your two little 17 millimeters what you do is you run it up a little bit give you space and then you can kind of adjust it you know left or right a little bit so um, that's a no big deal um, 
Uh, and as far as the guides go, them things are made out of just mild steel sheet metal probably. Uh, these are chrome plated steel. Um, I checked with a magnet because at first I thought they was maybe possibly stainless or something and but no they're chrome plated steel um you got nice steel uh screw shaft you know a uh, nice steel uh inlet roller you know feed roller um the blade seems to be pretty heavy duty it obviously does its job pretty well uh so and this thing is made out of half inch uh, uh aluminum so it's pretty sturdy pretty stout uh you know and it's got your little guards on it front and back it even says danger keep hands away and then it says vivor or vever i don't know how to pronounce it so um i i just pronounce it vivor because that's what it looks like to me but anyways i could be wrong so uh anyhow as far as what i feel about it i think it's great it's going to be a fantastic asset, you know, with all the scrapping and stuff that I do. So, it will help a lot to have around here. Uh, and as you've seen, it was really fast. It will go as fast as your drill will take it, you know, and it was pretty quick. It was like, just fed it right through. It was done. And so, anyways, um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I, I think it's going to be a fantastic asset. Uh, and you can get replacement blades uh, on Amazon. Uh, so uh, I would say I probably should have bought an extra blade, and I will here pretty soon. I'll get maybe one or two extras to have around because I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't know. It may last for years. It may last weeks. It may last months. I guess it's all going to depend on how much and how often you use your uh, wire stripper if you decide to get one um, and whether you get the vivo or you get the equivalent thereof or whatever i would almost dare to say that the blades are probably interchangeable but i do not know for sure uh, so anyway uh, whenever i get a blade i'm gonna make sure that it's for this uh, so that i know for a fact that it'll fit so anyways uh all the guides everything's easy to change and easy to work with so anyways well ladies and gentlemen um that's that's my take and my little demonstration of the vivor uh uh wire stripper which uh it's gonna be great so anyways i appreciate you guys and gals watching feel free to like subscribe hit the notifications uh throw me a comment down below let me know what you think um yeah uh, so y'all have a spectacular day or night whichever one it is for you peace out